Now, I didn't know this. Yeah, they're, oh, gonna, th they're all going to take some of that current. Problem, the problem with 80 meter verticals is they tend to be very narrow banded, right? Mm, yeah, okay. Yep. So well, I, I get about 100 kilohertz. You get 100 kilohertz. So maybe it's, maybe it's not a problem I'm trying to solve. Um, um, but I was thinking about they, they make something called one. a cage dipole. They do. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. So why couldn't you make a caged DX commander for 80? Yeah. And run well, several several verticals yeah. up. Yeah. Right? But you know, brilliant idea. Brilliant idea. I'll ship you the stuff and you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to model it first and see if it's worth the effort. The juice is okay, worth so, it, please, right? So, um, <laughs> so the question is, I mean, yeah. it's a good question, actually, isn't it? <laughs> right? So we've got a vertical here. Mm -hmm. And we got that bang on, let's say, 3.8 megahertz. Mm -hmm. Okay, we could build another one next to it, mm -hmm. a whisker longer, you know, at 3.85, and another one at 3.75. Yeah, depending on what license you've got, mm -hmm. uh, to, to spread spread the load out. Now, Kevin Lockin, is it Kevin? He um, drives a little van. Yeah. Uh, uh, Old-time YouTuber. I'm yeah. sure he did. I don't know what the results were. Now. I think he did a video. He tried to do this with, I think, three dipoles on 80 or something. Mm -hmm. It's a big band 80, isn't it? Um, mm -hmm. One, it's big just in whew, how much wire you want. Yep. And two, it's big because if you've got, like, an extra, if you're an extra in the U.S., you can go from like here to there, you know. I mean, six to four zero, <laughs> <laughs> and it's a percentage of wavelength. Mm. It's enormous, really. I mean, I most of us. Do, do you find this, John? Most of us gen generally tend to hover around for whatever reason a particular part of some band. You know, yeah. like. For me, you know, I'm 7.1 to 7.2 on 40, you know, so, and as long as I'm, you know, that's fine. And on 80, I'm 3.7 to just under 3.8. Yeah. And on what, in fact, my vertical was was tuned at about, and I never bothered to fix it, 3.71. I was getting the best. Mm -hmm. um, about 100 kilohertz, actually, where I wanted to be. But I never bothered dropping it down, cutting it and measuring it uh, again mm -hmm. and everything else. But they're big bands, 80 metres. Now, the other big band, of course, is 28. Mm -hmm. Because as a, as a percentage, I guess, from 28 to 28.9. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, they would love, if you take a quarter wave or or something at the top end of, uh, and you want, you know, FT8 and you want FM mm -hmm. on, on one antenna, that's a bit of a stretch as well. Well, you know, uh, with, with the higher bands, the bandwidth that you're available on an antenna is wider than it would be on the on the, on the low bands. It so is. You get you get some relief as the higher you go up the band. You do. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, you do. Yeah, but it's, um, it, it's interesting how that math works out, isn't it? Yeah. Well, why do I cage dipoles? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I wonder if anybody's done that. If you know anybody who's done this a cage dipole on eighty, or you particularly want to drive me down this bloody rabbit hole, and, mm -hmm. and then depending on the had the number of comments going, go and build it. We're up for it. Yeah. I might do it because I reckon I could do it on two elements. Yeah, you could do it on two elements because that would just split it. Because then I could have. I could do it on two, you see. I could use an 18-meter pole, do it on two, and uh, I would still be able to do, like, 40 and 60 mm -hmm. as yeah. well. Then get used the, um, of it. Yeah, the interesting thing is I, a while back, Tim Duffy did a presentation for our club, and he was talking okay. about when they build the Yagis, especially oh, the ones yeah. he uses at his place. Yeah. They, put, they put a second element very close to the uh -huh. driven element to widen it. A parasitic element. I, I don't. I and I need to go back and review it. But he he told us about they they put an element very close to the driven element. Yeah. And for some reason, I guess it may be skin effect. Or wide it bands it. The coupling that it wide bands it. So uh, there must be something with the field. You know, the near field that you get yeah. some. You get some 
extended bandwidth. And, I, and it's true. The wider the conductor, right? Yeah. The wider the bandwidth response you're going to have. Yeah. So that's why you use aluminum tubing versus an, you know, an eight millimeter wire. Yeah. The wider that, the wider that channel is, the more surface area I get, I guess the wider the bandwidth gets. Mm. So but I've always thought if you've got a reasonably low resistance wire, mm -hmm. then on 80 meters being such a huge, uh, you know, wavelength itself, mm -hmm. you would have to do a cage, you know, 30 centimeters a foot in diameter to make any difference at all. Um, yeah, I can't. It's like, but I think on the other hand, um, maybe this is what Tim's doing. Maybe, you know, I, I looked up the cage dipole because I was that, that problem popped in my head for some reason yeah. last night. But okay, yeah, it, it, I think the one I saw one at ARRL, um, mm. when I was visiting there in Connecticut back in September. Mm. And I think it's either a foot in diameter with okay. all, you know, all the elements around it, or it's six or yeah. seven inches in diameter. Okay. With around oh, it. I could do six or seven inches. But it goes to the same feed point, goes out and stretches yeah. out, and then comes back to a termination point where you oh, tie all the wire together. Yeah. So does it do that? Yep. So you end up with basically here, a diamond, out, and then back. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yep. fine. Yeah. Yep. Do you think you would need, do you think, do you think, I could either cage Spacers. it or I could do separate antennas on the same feed point. I wonder if then the uh, residents would go, oh, I'm just starting. Oh, no, I can go back down again, you know, with the with the two different uh, yeah, elements. That might be an interesting model. Yeah. I mean, it, you could. I could. Because I, I see that on 12 and 10, curve, curve, you know. Right? You might get a resonance curve where it kind of flows it, like a wave. Uh, yeah. Yep. Interesting. Versus, what, you know, is, a lot what of other, curve. yeah. What other techniques are there to wideband? Mm, I don't know. Big I mean, I, fifty ohm resistors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not yeah, inductive. Yeah, if, if I remember correctly, and, and, <laughs> and this is going back, I've been out of school for a, a decade or a two. thousand years. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Moses, who was a classmate of mine. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm not that old. But yeah, yeah, I think I think it has to do with the skin effect and the size of the conductor. Yes, yeah. how much of a field you can generate, and the yeah. bigger the field, the more wide band it gets. Yeah, um, see. I'll, I'll dev. I've got a book on the shelf here. It's from the fifties. It's called Lines. What is it? Lines, waves, and antennas. And oh, basically, okay. it goes through all the theory from oh, wires. Wow in waves wave guides and antennas yeah. and all of this it's a great book I'm, I'm trying to find another copy in one of these used bookstores yeah. so that i can have a second copy so i can loan it out to people because yeah i'm not loaning that book out because it's not no. leaving my presence <laughs> no 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 indeed yeah, yeah. now uh, somebody textbook. there was a comment i get a lot of comments and you know some i can't spend that much time on every comment but I didn't read them all and normally comment to it. But somebody said, oh, 160 meters using a thin wire, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's going to be too much resistance. Mm -hmm. right? Could be. It's a, it's a, it, I mean, it's very long mm -hmm. physically. Yep. Depends but, where you uh, do. Yeah, but if it was just a dipole, surely it's not too bad. You've got yeah. the high current in the middle with the voltage at the ends. Right. Right. Now, if you're end feeding it 160 that's quite a bit of resistance at the end. You'd probably use a 64 to one transformer to get a good match. Yeah. But how efficient is the antenna going to be? Right. Interesting. Yeah. The, the resistance to transmission and there's a term for that. And I don't know what, what the hell I can't think of it now. So but you're into 80 meters. Yeah. There's a, there's a resistance to transmission uh, inherent to that wire. Yeah. Um, again, it has to do with the skin effect and the field. Yeah. The, the larger diameter, yeah. the better off you are. Yeah. So you, you, it's it's basically your Q goes up, right? The smaller yeah, yeah, yeah. the wire diameter is, the the higher your Q goes. So your your curve becomes tighter. A, 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 you know, a, a difference in in it gets Shape. very narrow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So okay. So I mean, crazy question is why does a DX commander work if um, it's the wire is only the size of a pencil lead? Well. It, it's going to radiate. It's just, okay. it's just I mean, not enough resistance. Right. Well, if you, if, again, you're dealing with quarter wave verticals in a good ground plane. Um, yeah. It's going to radiate. Now, again, I don't think it's, 
it's a problem of effectively radiating Callum. Yeah. yeah. I think it's more of a, a bandwidth problem, but yeah. Okay. With the way you've built that antenna. And again, don't forget all those elements radiate at the same time. Right now. I didn't know this. Yeah. They're, gonna, th they're all going to take some of that current. Some, uh, you see that on the models, don't you? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. You build you two. The model. Yeah. You, 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 you see them all radiating. Somebody said that with a fan dipole. He said, you, yep. and they all radiate. Mm -hmm. You don't get any more RF just because they're radiating. You're mm -hmm. still getting a good match. Right. So, so I think it's happening, John. Sorry to interrupt because no, you think fine. on that. Is that my, I've got my 40 meter element mm -hmm. and I transmit eight 20 meters just uh, inductively grab some of it and just lets it go again. I think actually that's what's happening. It, it's yeah, just the, the energy's got to go somewhere, yep. and they all they all vibrate like a piano. If you exactly. if you started it's, hammering, they're all gonna you get little boo. You know, if they all start to radiate at some point. It's gonna be the path of least resistance, for lack of better terms. That's pretty yeah. simple. Yeah, but the le the path of least resistance is where most of your current's going to go, and that's where it's going to radiate the most. Yeah. So you know your first harmonic at forty, your second harmonic at twenty, right? Mm. So twenty is going to take a bit of it. Your third harmonic at fifteen, but on your antenna, fifteen and forty are together, so mm. it's going to take a little more current than a forty would, mm. and then some at ten, right? Because that's mm. fourth harmonic. Mm. So at some point you're going to get, and a seventeen probably doesn't take hardly any of that current. Yeah, because it's it's not a harmonic, so you might get a little bit of current through that, but it's going to be very very minute. Yeah, but again, when you have all those elements in a cage, right, you're still looking at it. And now, granted, it's not all, all connected at the top, no. where it's giving full skin effect, but you get skin effect off of all of that. So Do you know, I, I think, think you might be right. That there might oh, be I've never something thought about to that. that. There there might be something to that now. Again, there may be somebody smarter than me that in the comments tell me I'm an idiot and, you know, I don't know what I'm talking about. But I'm sure that has some some play into it, right? Yeah. That you have. And, and again, when we start talking about bands, lower bands tend to be higher Q, well, no, not higher Q, but tend to be more narrow on the wire yeah. you, for yeah. a given width of wire, diameter of wire mm -hmm. than the high bands do. So I think you have some skin effect going on there um, or coupling, some kind of coupling yeah. going on where they're all radiating and you're getting not more than you put in, but you're getting a better efficiency. Yeah. I've just, I just always wondered why it works as well as it does. Mm -hmm. I, I just, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's my antenna. I mean, if somebody said you could have any antenna you want, you've mm -hmm. got that antenna field, I'll just put up what I've got. Well, if I'm going to, if I'm going to put up one antenna, Mm. that's easy to maintain that's going to work yeah. that gives me multi-bands and I don't have to worry about an elaborate tuning system yeah well you know it's the answer yeah. yeah versus you know <laughs> hey we'd all love <laughs> to have 100 foot towers and yeah. alone in the sky yeah but you know I know a, a guy personally who has two 100 foot towers stacked yagis and all this stuff and I've worked at his station it's fun it's great but he's got probably $150,000, $200,000 wrapped up in it. Who has that oh, kind of I'm money? I'm sure. Oh, no. Right? I don't, you know. <laughs> I, mm. I I have a nice station here, but yeah. I don't have $200,000. That's, that's a half a yeah. house, you know. I, I know, yeah. And I hear you. On my, you very often call in when I'm streaming and you're at home. Yeah. Well, and, so and your I've, modest I've, station just comes yeah. through, you know. I've got a, uh, I've got a problem with my amplifier. i got to figure out. I don't know what's going on with it. Oh, so bollocks. It's a different, that's a different issue altogether <laughs> oh, all right well, amplifiers yeah yeah i got a problem with one of my amplifiers which is why i've only on ever the acom so that's fine yeah. well that's interesting nests skin effect yeah. cages yep. sounds like a different hobby but it isn't <laughs> <laughs> could be birding <laughs> john i'll see you next time buddy you take care now seven three calm all the best <laughs>